guys, welcome to another episode of Talking Moments. My name is Talking Makewa. This is Talking Moments. As I said, if this is your very first time of watching it, I don't know where you have been. Do you understand? We've been on a long thing. Today's episode, we are burning bridges, not breaking tables anymore. I'm going to be hitting some people left, right, center. Myself included because i thought about my life recently and i decided that you know what i had to audit my life it was high time i took some audit session you know people who are making sense not making sense adding to my life subtracting from my life see if you are in a relationship that is not drawing you to jesus making you a better person uh, adding you know positivity to your life um giving you grace quality orgasms i'm sorry you are wasting your time and your life you know i i'm sick and tired of seeing ladies who everything else was going great for them till they fell in love you know there's people that you'd be like oh you know this amazing makeup artist this amazing uh, musician this amazing um hair salon owner and all of a sudden you ask what ever happened to that person you say she fell in love i don't understand how is it that people cannot stand in love? Must you fall? When you say fall in love, that doesn't mean that you should literally be on the floor. I'm tired of people being very, you know, blasé about their goals and their dreams because of who they're with. So many of you are dating guys that you cannot even share your goals with. Like, this year I'm this ambitious. This is what I want for my life. This is how I want to get it. Babe, let's partner. It's not only about cash. Do you understand? Like, when you look at Beyonce's career, for instance, when she was going to go solo, she was, you know, Destiny's Child, we knew Kelly, we knew Michelle, we knew Beyonce, and then she thought about this as solo career. And she thought to herself how do i go solo in a way that would take the world by storm she was dating a guy who at that time was much more influential than she was and it was a partnership remember that her first album that came out jay-z was like on five or four tracks on that particular album do you understand some people are dating people that can open the key to their freedom yes they will sit down there and be doing like mugu like they tied your mouth like uh, if they talk Somebody said something to me the other day. Well, I don't want you to think I'm a money girl. You know how when you start talking, guys will think that that's what I'm all about. You are a fool. You are a big fool. How can you be dating somebody that you know that, ah, you know, babe, this is my goal. This is what I want to aspire to be. You know, even if it's not money you can give to me. Advice, prayer, it's part of it. Some of people will be, you know, a locked mouth is a locked destiny. Eh? Some of people will be dating people that can, are instrumental to your next level, but you'll be focusing on stupid things, checking his phone, fighting over trivia matters, worrying about things that you shouldn't be worrying about. Instead of you to literally look at your life in your palms and say, oh no, this relationship, does it fit? Does it gel? Does it not gel? How do I see myself in the next three years? Are you adding to my life? Even for the guys as well. Some of you guys are dating women that, you know, I'm bringing up into the table. So it's not only a woman, what can you get from a guy situation? Because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just tired of seeing girls who, you know, should be all about their goals. And I'm, nobody's saying you cannot fall in love and still be A plus in your, your field of work. Do you understand? Why must you close down your salon or you don't have time for your clients anymore because you're in love? Oh, you're following the guy up and down. You cannot focus on your life. You don't have any job anymore. Your job right now is to be policing the guy who is talking to, who is with. This weekend, you are traveling. You don't want him to see any other babe. Then you pack your bags. When you know you have clients and you can make money in Lagos, don't you know that, eh? That can even make the guy look at you and be thinking, man, this babe, she's so focused. These days, if you want to be in my life, I ask myself three questions. How does this person fit into my journey? I know where I am. I know where I want to go. I know where I used to be. Okay, you want to enter my life right now. What are you bringing to the table? Even if it's that, you know, this is someone that is saying to me every week, bring your books. How much are you making? How are you establishing your business? Let's talk about things that make sense. A lot of you females like to pretend. You people like to lie to yourselves. You know, you sit down there, be acting as if you are okay. You know you don't have money. You know that as you're sitting down there, you know that this person can know somebody that can talk to to help you. You are shy. Shy about what? If the guy can't even give you money, maybe the people in the circle can help you. Like, okay, babe, you know, I want to sell this. I know you have a friend that owns a mall. Ah, can you please talk to them? Can they give me discounts? It's as if talking about your dreams and your goals makes you shy when you're with these people. What does love mean again? You pull, it has to be partnerships. Partnerships. This is your partner in everything. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is someone that when you're feeling low, the person can gas you up. Like, babe, ah, come on now. 
You know, date guys that make you want to do more with your life. Date people that make you want to aspire to be more. They like you as candy. Just be there. Just be fitting for the moment. This same guy, when he meets that girl who has a cooking show, has established herself, has this business, to be checking them out outside, thinking to myself, my girlfriend, all she knows is to be asking me for 20k every day, 30k every day, money to do hair, money to buy pint and bra. Come on, are you stupid? Eh? So if the guy does not give you money for pant and bra, you're not wearing pant and bra. Honestly, I'm just sick and tired of seeing people who say they are in love and then they lose every other thing. It's like all the sense in your life leaves you. That's not love. I'm sorry, you are in bondage. You know, you should be with someone that wants the best for you. If you guys cannot have those kind of conversations, how much do we have now? How much do we need to meet? look? Eh? Any guy I'm dating, I'll tell the guy, you have to make money. You see? Because me, I'm only trying to make money too. I want to be making some conversations that you can act to. Let me say I'll sit down there. Eh? Eh? I'll be dating someone that I know that right now. Maybe you can help me go from one point to the other. And all I'll be discussing with the person is how was your day? Can you say there's something wrong with you? You better have a strategy. Strategy, wake up. Baby girl, it's not just for you to be looking good. You have to really re strategize your life. You're just taking space. You know that somebody else can be in that space and be adding value. Value, those are the kind of things that you should ask yourself. Somebody is talking to you right now. Ask what value can this person bring? How can this person make me a better person? What is this person going to add to my journey now that will make me get to where I'm going to smoothly? If you know what I mean. You don't want all this drama, pointless drama, dating for nothing. All they do is invite you out on Friday night. Church said they're not dragging you too. They're not even dragging you close to God. And then you now ask yourself, why am I talking to this person? As in, kill and fan, yeah. What's your use? Eh? Are you of any good use or bad use? If it's bad use, please end with this year, with this month, self. Because as you see, I don't want to enter December with people that will be casting shadow. You know when you just stand, they want to be casting shadow and be wasting your life. No, me or Blackberry. Do you know what that means? I'm not here to play. So I want people to be more established, more vocal about their dreams. Any guy that will leave you because you're too ambitious has no business being in your life. Hey. Anybody that would think her own is too much, all she talks about is how she wants what I can do for her. No, if you cannot help me, leave me alone now. Let me just be pushing my book at the way I'm pushing it. Life is too short. This vlog was very important because I feel like you know I'm sick and tired of hearing about people who you hear about them for so long. Oh, they're doing great, they're doing this. They're not here again. Ah, what's wrong with this person? How far with this person's business? Ah, she fell in love. Like, what does that mean? Some of you, it's as if you were just doing that, working on that job, working on your goals, just because you want to meet someone. And when you meet the person, it's like, your goals don't matter anymore. Your goals and dreams are valid, though. Do you understand? Maybe that's the reason why the person even fell in love with you. Like, ladies, please don't lose yourself. Don't lose your sense of identity. It's very important. And in every relationship, interaction, association, collection, gathering that you find yourself in, always, always ask yourself, how is this bettering my life? In what way have I been made a better person? How is this going to make me move from one point to the other? Again, may we not be with people that can help us, but they will think we're okay because we're acting like big girls. Hope you guys have listened to this vlog and you are auditing. As I'm talking to you, be auditing. All those people that are just good for just messaging you for nothing. Delete them. They're not adding to your life. If you're in a relationship, gathering, a job, and you're talking to people that you know that mm, all you're good at is just to be having chewing gum conversations. When I'm chewing gum. Let's be chewing gum when it's time to chew gum. Do you understand? Please. Don't come on, use your wiggy to spoil my balloons. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you've learned a thing or two from this vlog. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. All it today, if they're not adding to you, OJ delete, alternate delete. Surely, more waste time. No, the man saw five, Timo saw 11. Surely, cool, it makes sense. This thing. I'm going to do a vlog in Yoruba next. I want to speak Yoruba from beginning to the end. You guys watch out for it. Chat with you on the next episode of Talk and Moments. Goodbye.